Sir, operation was successful. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to War Hospital. Pick it up right where we left off, pretty much. And I'm seeing this in front of me. We have a character level up. Yeah. I didn't even know this was a thing. Wow. Uh, Natalie Wise. Uh, still remembers the first boy who died in her arms crying that he uh, shouldn't have even been there. Uh, so it looks like we get to choose an area to level her up. And uh, she gets to adapt some traits. So I, I, I didn't even know this thing was a, this exists. So I have to take a look at this. Um, helpful. Speeds up operations and operating wards. Yeah, that seems really helpful. She's at the operating ward right now. So faster operations is great. Um, she can do caring. Works much better at rehabilitation center. Uh, she can be aesthetic. So basically she doesn't like food. Or at least eating much food. So she'll only eat once every two days. And morale will increase when food rations are set to half. And uh, composed works more efficiently. Is not affected by negative trade effects. Hmm. She doesn't have any negative trade effects. So uh, I think I'm going to put her at the operating wards. Yeah. And so let's take a look at that really quick because that's interesting. Swap you guys out. Uh, so that was Lottie Roth, right? There's nothing in this interface that shows me they have traits. Um, so I guess I have to go to the staff tab. And, oh, Natalie Weiss. That's who it was. Yeah. Oh, Lottie Roth does have, yeah, Lottie Roth does have a trait. Dominating. Works slightly worse at rehabilitation centers. Lottie Roth works not as good at rehabilitation centers. Okay, so we don't want to put her in there. But there's no indication that that's a thing when you're in this interface. So am I going to have to memorize this stuff? Look at medical teams have it too. Extroverted. Works less efficiently, but others working with them perform slightly better. So we want to keep Luke Stewart in a group. Uh, Harvey Hughes is strict. Decreases morale over time when he's not working, but he increases when he is. That's interesting. Uh, but like, apparently they all have traits. Uh, I guess not my doctors, but the nurses mostly do. Madeline Lott, playful, right? She seems less efficient when working solo but slightly more efficiently, working slightly more efficiently with others. So that's pretty interesting. So I have to keep an eye on the traits for people, and I am not going to be good at that because there's too many people to, to think about. And some of these guys even have the same last names. Like, I'm not going to remember the difference between Adrian Roth and Lottie Roth, right? Sir, so that's interesting. I'll have to keep an eye on this stuff. But Natalie Weiss is the one that has the trait. And uh, we'll flop, swap you out for this. And uh, okay. yeah. Actually, let me make sure all my other teams are good, too. Um, I think it would be a good idea to get started on some improvements, some in construction improvements here. Um, I'm looking at, is it production? How do I want to do this? Um, the thing is, I don't have any engineers that can really work this stuff. But what I was hoping for, oh, I guess we could try this one. Yeah, get dogs for the scouts. I actually like that. Let's get the dogs for the scouts. Uh, we'll go this guy. All right. We'll try that. Uh, I am very, very low on rations. I have 31 rations. That's no bueno. So we are going to spend the rest of our uh, spend the rest of our drafts here on getting some more rations to come in because I need them badly. Not doing a very good job of making them myself. I keep focusing on the medical supplies, which we're doing really well on. Um, but I think it's more, I think it's more efficient to spend your drafts on the rations than it is the medical supplies. I, I think like the dollar for dollar value for it and the timing of it just works better. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, the ruined church approaching the abandoned church scout spot movement and lights inside. Stealthily, the team enters through old, partially destroyed doors. Inside, they see a man in a German officer's uniform lying on some stretchers near the altar with a deserter French officer tending to his wounds. The French medic surrenders immediately. Confronted with his desertion, he explains that the French officer was a prisoner of the Dugem Bureau. Did I say that correctly? Dugem? I think is what it is. Uh, I believe it means second. 
uh, which ruthlessly interrogated the German and uh, forbade tending to his wounds. Unable to stand by idly, the French medic decided he would take the, G the German and try to reach the British HQ to give themselves up in the hope of better treatment. He explains that he hid here when the state of the prisoner worsened in an attempt to stabilize him. The scout's orders are clear. They are to take the French officer back to HQ. However, they there were no mentions of the German prisoner. So if we take them both, it will provide six, uh, six of our lovely currency. <laughs> I'm spacing out of the name of that right now. Uh, and two more staff points. That sounds great uh, for both prisoners. There's a high probability that the German prisoner will be returned to the Duchem uh, Bureau for further interrogation. Or we only take the French officer and we only get uh, four medical drafts. So the drafts is what they're called. Uh, definitely going to take the staff points, of course. Absolutely. So the scouts decide to take both prisoners. As the French HQ is far away, the scouts make their way to the nearest British HQ. The French uh, officer cooperates with the scouts. It was his goal to reach the British HQ after all. Before departure, he asks if the British will take him or take them in or return them to the French. And the scout commander knows his superiors will not risk diplomatic problems and will almost certainly return prisoners to the French. However, seeing the desperation and a glimmer of hope in the young officer's eyes, he decides to lie and reassure the officer. Sir, scout's unit has started a new mission. Fine. Uh, okay, so I guess, that's, I guess that's 10 minutes away. I guess 10 hours, but we're gonna... It's 10 minutes real time, I guess. So in 10 minutes, 10 hours... Depending on whether you're talking about real world time or game time. Probably should talk about game time since I can speed it up. Uh, got a new patient arrival. Okay, hang on. We got some things happening in our casualty clearing station here. All right. So we have a serious injury. You are way too expensive, sir. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be heartless, but you're way too expensive. That's just the way it is. We're going to stop your rest and we're going to pop these guys. I guess I really don't care which one of you gets tired, but somebody's getting tired. And uh, we also have this. All right. So Bradley leveled up as well. He's a medical team. Okay. So we can do passionate, perform better at ADS, ambitious, just to work better as a flat bump, I guess. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but okay. Um, same thing, aesthetic or composed. Uh, and I'm thinking probably, you know, when is Bradley going to work? I don't know. I flip these guys around all the time and trying to remember who they are and where they're better at. I don't know. I think we're just going to take Ambitious here. Uh, okay. So, so that'll take care of that. Rations are so low. My gosh. 15 are going to be gone. That's half of our rations that we have remaining are going to be gone in five minutes and I don't have any drafts. So we definitely need more people. Yeah, this is a problem. This is going to be a big, 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 big problem. Let's get you guys re uh, rested up. Let's get you guys rested up. Sir, medics are on the way. Yep. We have a, a random event here. It appears the patient has gonorrhea. It is not life-threatening yet, but I would like to recommend administering treatment while I still can. Uh, well, morale is going to rise. It's a little longer operation. Of course it is. I don't know if I really need the morale rise, but I definitely don't want the morale fall. Like if this was a no effect, I'd probably take this instead, but Sir, just to keep the morale up, we'll do it. And uh, Sir, yeah, still yes, three out on the battlefield there. How are we doing with our cemetery? You know what? I mean, I know I keep saying I'm out of rations, but I have these guys working here. And um, it's just I don't have enough engineers. I want more engineers. But I, I want that other surgeon, too. I don't think I can have it, though. I just don't think I can have it. If I wait another eight and a half minutes, I can totally have it, right? And actually, we know what we're going to get. We're getting two, which means we're going to have six points. So we can get another medic team for that one point. That would probably be helpful. Because we definitely... I think we definitely need that. Um, but... If we get I think the surgeon is still the better call here right it's just a, it's a risk versus reward situation is not really the word I'm looking for but it's a trade-off right we're 
We're stretching our medical team really thin in hopes that we can get that one extra surgeon. And then that one surgeon makes everybody awesome all the time. But my biggest fear here is that my other teams are going to be overworked and I'm going to end up having surgeons doing nothing, right? I don't want that to be the case. I don't want that to happen to where surgeons are doing nothing. Um, so I don't want to have too many surgeons. So I don't know about the balance of the game and whether or not it's a, it's a good thing to wait for that or not. But I feel like, I feel like that's still a good call. I can, I can treat people better. I can get them all done faster. We can get the surgeries done quicker. That means we can get the, we get them rehabilitated faster, right? I feel like that's a thing we can do. Um, we're going to send you to the front lines to get that to be strong. And then we're going to send you to get me more drafts. Because I need drafts Sir, badly. Sir, may I inform you that I left a personal recommendation note with one of the patients who was recently brought to the casualty clearing station. Great. Can't wait. So this guy's VIP. It's going to take eight medical supplies. Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Eight of them. Single, no children. Former glazier. Okay. Well, at least he doesn't have a family. Uh, I'm informing you, uh, and we aim to inform you that Sergeant Clark Hill proved himself with acts of bravery and gallantry in the face of the enemy during the last battle and was recommended for the Distinguished Conduct Medal. As such, HQ and I are in the opinion that his quick return to the front lines could provide great inspiration for the soldiers. Ah, oh, man, oh man, oh man. All right, well, I mean, he's not going to have any complications an uncomplicated thing it just takes five hours and a ton of meds but that is the gig in it that is that is the gig all right we will we will do this i'll put your rest period here actually that is going to be the gig he's going to be exhausted after the surgery and have to uh have to rest yeah i don't know if this guy takes this thing takes a lot of energy it's a very intensive thing. I think maybe uh, we got you too. Yeah, let's get you after the rest period there. And then we now have the chemical ward. And so we have our new chemical doctor here. He's in serious condition and so is he. So we're going to have that happen. And that's going to use most of our chemical yeah, meds too. Wow, are we spread thin. We have got to do something about that. I'm thinking... I'm thinking facilities to make our own, right? We just need a lot more engineers. I need more engineers. There's no doubt about it. I need an engineer's room improvement. Because I can't actually get them. Like, even with the per personnel points, I can't. I, I, my, I might have a capacity for engineers, so. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What's this? We just opened up a letter from a soldier who supposedly was recently treated here. They're saying that there was a harsh nurse, Lottie Roth, who was hard on them, and other patients. Although they believe she was trying to run the place smoother. Nonetheless, they ask you to do something about her. Um, I'm not going to punish them. I'm going to ignore the letter. I'm ignoring the letter. I don't care. <laughs> this woman is doing everything she can to save lives. If she wants to be a little snotty to you, you just suck it up and deal with it, dude. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> Screw you for thinking you're entitled for, to any type of retribution for that. All right. She was a little rude to me. All right. Yeah, well, go back to your incredibly rich lifestyle, apparently. Um, all right. I'm in some serious trouble here. I don't like the state. The state of things is not looking good. I, I, I know if you don't play this game, you're probably thinking it looks fine. But 27 supplies. This number keeps dropping. No drafts at all. No engineers available to actually do this very well. Uh, I'm trying to get rations so I can keep up with that. At least we bought that, but uh, we have no ability to buy these things. So very quickly here, we're gonna we're not gonna be able to treat trauma. So we need to unlock the ability to create that, and I won't be able to do that uh, unless I buy the improvement, which of course I need the drafts to do. So I'm going to need. We're gonna need some help here. Well, at least we got dogs in the in the scouts, right? <laughs> at least the dogs have. At least our scouts are gonna have dogs when they get back. Is it, we're at least you know gonna have something like there. I, I think maybe. Yeah, if I had an extra couple, of, if I had an extra surgeon here, this would all be done way faster. 
But even then, the, here's the thing, though, right? We get another surgeon. We have to be able to sustain the the medical supplies for that, right? So let's like hypothetically, right? This person here is going to take four medical supplies. They're this rank. So they're going to provide two drafts for me. All right. So two drafts. And he's going to consume four medical supplies. Successful. Right. So this is something we have to look at too. Surgical supplies cost two drafts. When I do this, I end up getting five. So I'm going to get a net positive of one medical supply for this guy, right? If I send him for drafts, I'm net positive by one. So that's not bad. We're at least going to gain some there, right? But and this guy's better, right? We look at it from this perspective. This guy is pretty expensive, but I'm going to be net positive three for this one, right? So that's pretty good. And uh, if we want to take a look at some of these things, like how, how much they're going to cost is... Uh, definitely something to consider, right? So like this guy here, he's going to cost me six. He's stable, but he's going to cost me six. I'm not going to get six back for him, right? I think this is part of the strategy in this game is looking at what things cost you and deciding if it's worth it. And sometimes, sometimes I'm thinking it's not, which is kind of shitty to say, but I think sometimes you have to just say, hey, uh, sorry, dude. You're just too expensive. If we were better off in our camp, then maybe that would be different. If we had better, you know, if we, if we were better off with our resources, it would be different. But uh, we're not at all. Let's, let's get these guys out of ADS. Sir, are on the way. I need them to heal, so, or to rest up, so, is what it is. Sir, medics reach the cemetery. Yep. Burying bodies. Oh, boy. All the bodies. Sir, medics are on the way. So we're like, see, now we don't have any trauma medicine. So if we have to treat anyone else for trauma and look at there's five, there's, like, this is crazy. You know, there's just so much of these guys. And we don't have enough medicine for this. It's five meds each every single time. I don't know if they're really worth it. That's the crazy part, you know? We have to be able to make these supplies ourselves. And in order to do that, I need to stockpile my drafts so that I can get those facilities. Uh, it appears that the bullet inside the patient's body is partially shattered. If we are not careful, it could split and shatter fully inside, causing more damage to the patient's internal organs. Uh, we can use the x-ray to help with the procedure. We, we do have it installed, so we might as well use it. It's going to take a longer operation by an hour and a half, but at least it's not three hours. Uh, or we could apply this if we had it, but we don't have a fluoroscope. And that would have made everything way easier. So we have to look at investing in our in our uh, equipment as well. Yeah, sure. We could just totally invest in everything. Absolutely. Sounds great. We're totally up for that. Definitely. I have no resources for that. Uh, I forget which one was working in CCS. I'm pretty sure you were working in Operating Ward. Give you a rest. And Axel, uh, Madeline Lott, what was your, did you have any, uh, yeah, just work slightly more efficiently with others. Okay. So you want to be here then is what you're saying. Well, Sir, too bad. Medics are on the way. Can't do it. Going to have to wait. Sir, medics are on the way. What's this? Sir, it's been raining for the last few days. We've just discovered that there's been a small hole in the basement wall and it got flooded and some of the crates got damp and the food inside got all moldy. Are you kidding me? What should we do with the food? Cut off the mold and use what remains. We'll lose 30. Throw away all the crates with spoiled food. We lose 60. I mean, I have to. But if we miss, are people going to get sick or something? I have to. I don't have the, I don't have the rations. I have to do it. All right. Wow. Yeah. Medics reach the cemetery. That sucks. It's basically, it's basically uh, raining here all the time, though. You know? Oh, look. Once again, proving that I absolutely should have... All right. I need to deny you. I'm sorry. I absolutely should have more... <laughs> I need more surgeons. <laughs> Still need more surgeons. Uh, you are very expensive. A lot of you guys are very expensive. 
two and five, right? See, like, this is what I mean. Like, I, I break even on this guy. I need to start doing procedures that are going to net me more than I'm spending. But at the same time, I, I'm thinking this is proving to me pretty substantially right now that my issue is not having less surgeons than I want. My issue is the supplies for those surgeons, right? I think that's the main thing right now. I don't have enough supplies. So one thing I could do is do the special operations, which takes half the supplies and half the time. I can take and just decide to amputate, for example, and it's like, it is what it is, but at least that person doesn't take all of my, my meds. I need to start amputating more, I think is what this is, because I am, uh, I'm using too many supplies, especially if I'm not going to send them back to combat status. So, uh, we need more drafts and we need more drafts. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Give me more drafts. We're at 50% morale. New patient arrived. Even more patients showing up. My God, dude. And they just keep coming too. 13 out of 10. I mean, we're so over capacity right now. They just keep coming. Yeah, I think uh, for your trauma, I'm going to have to amputate. <laughs> I mean, I can't do anything about it. Yeah, I'm going to be kind of screwed here. After this operation completes, I won't be able to help him. You know, I'm not going to be able to help him. Uh, on this side is like, yeah, he's a one star with six meds. I, I have to deny, you know, one star with three meds. We can amputate. I, I, I actually have to start budgeting this way. If I was doing this from the beginning, I think I'd be in a better position, but that's what happens. Let's see with Luke Stewart. So Luke has extroverted already. He's working better with other people and he works less efficiently, but he also has, uh, others working more. Uh, more better for him. There we go. Uh, dead serious. They work significantly better at the cemetery. Hmm. Others working with them tire less. That's interesting. Uh, morale slightly increased when they work and they perform better at ADS. Uh, let's have the morale. Be... I, I, I could, I could, I could say steward is going to be better at the cemetery, but he, since he already has extroverted, it means that he's already got a bonus to working with other people. So it might be better to put friendly. And that way I can stack the whole idea of him working with other people, right? I think I'm going to try that instead. So steward, we need you to leave here. Uh, Let's go ADS with you too. I don't even think of, I don't even know if ADS is a good idea, honestly. I just have so many problems right now. Uh, Adrian, are you the one that wants to do a rehabilitation center? Hold on. Adrian is uh, tires slightly less. Okay. Where's the one for the rehabilitation center? Right here. Uh, let's the other Roth. Lottie works worse in the rehabilitation center. So we don't want Lottie in there. Lottie is going to be somewhere else. And then I'm going to put you in the operating ward. All right. Medics are on the way. Oh my gosh. So yes, anyway, we have received a dispatch I'm thinking one of the patients who was recently brought in by ambulance. I'm thinking what I need to do here is I need to have better production for these resources. Focus more on the engineers, on my economy and just suck it up and say, look, you have two doctors and that's what you have. Deal with it, right? That's, I think that's where I need to be here. So why don't we start with getting, uh, I think nutritious rations are kind of out of the, out of the, the picture here. Mechanical mill system would be good for the rations. And I think maybe right here, this drying pistol increases the production by 25%. I think we, I think we want this, put this in here, give you a rest. Sir, engineer is on the way. Oh boy. Sir, the Dude, I have so many, like, we're so overcrowded right here. This guy's serious. He's a VIP. 
Ah, uh, you suck. 15 meds. Are you kidding me? 15 meds. For a VIP, I turned to you with a request of help. One of our German prisoners. He suffered serious injuries during his stay at one of our bureau's facilities. Requires immediate medical attention. We would appreciate it if he was returned to us in full health, just in case he should suffer new injuries during his further stay with us. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm sorry. That's just funny. No service history or personnel. Uh, so this is the, this is the German that you know we were talking about with the mission. Uh, I just love how they're like, we would appreciate if he was returned to us in full health, just in case he would suffer any new injuries during his further stay with us. Uh, so you want me to spend a whole bunch of energy and resources to save this guy just so you can screw him up again. Is that what I'm getting here? Uh, you better give me... I mean, do I get the personnel points? I'm not entirely sure I do. I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it here, I guess. I don't know, man. This doctor says he's rested. He should be working then. Maybe we just amputate him, but he wants to be in full health. Sir, medics reach the advanced dressing station. Damn it. Sir, patient is cured. I don't know. Looks like Galane Barbeau has gotten himself an upgrade. The surgeon, we have steady hands, significantly raises chances of operation simplification. That's good. Working better. Just flat bump. Uh, tires slightly slower, significantly lowers chances for complications. I like that a lot. You can do more surgeries in a day, and there's less chances of complications. I like that. Um, operation simplification is also good. Because the more simple it is, the less mistakes you make. But this one comes with less tired. So I'm going to take that one. Because I think that's great. Okay, so this, these guys are waiting for a mission. And I have dogs now. So they should be able to go really quick places. Let's say you go to the sm uh, smoke to ashes, ashes to dust. Apparently, it doesn't take any dogs. Do we not have any dogs? Hold on. Can we... Do we bring dogs in on the train? Is that how we do it? I have six points now. So I've been waiting all this time for a surgeon, but now I'm, I'm questioning that, right? Because another surgeon is just going to, I think, it's just going to use more medical supplies. So what I really need are more engineers to make more medical supplies, right? I mean, what I really need is that, I think. So instead, you know, I've got this going to increase the speed of the pharmacy and uh i think probably we need to uh yeah i mean we probably need to look at increasing our economy here our production here truck garage provides a truck that can be sent to depots in scout map depots what do the depots have Number available trucks by one. What do the depots do, I wonder? Number of available trucks. I mean, do the depots... Is it a place for us to get supplies? Is it a place for us to store supplies? What is it? Unlocks. Production for chemical stuff. I'm looking for the trauma meds. Okay, so you need reagents production before you can get to stress relievers production. So we need to have this in order to get to this. And then I still also need more engineers. So I think we're going to do this first. We're going to improve for the engineering depot. And uh, I'm going to have to pull this guy off the pharmacy too. I'm going to put him here for now. Which is not good because we don't have the resources, right? We don't have the meds. So if I was to order more surgical supplies, right, it's... It's a one-to-one -one here, so we're basically getting 10 for 10. Oh, sorry. No, it's 10 for 2. Okay. Uh, so we would have to spend all we have for 15. 
basically six drafts for that one VIP. I think I'm only going to take 10. And then I'm going to grab one more set of trauma supplies, which I can't do because they're worth three. Oh. All right. Rations then. We need we need the food anyway. Damn, that's expensive. So expensive. So, so expensive. <laughs> All right. So we're amputating here. He was in, you know, we're operating here in full health so they can interrogate him later. Um, and for the personnel points, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we need to get at least one more medical team. Let's, let's do that for now. Um, I would love to have engineers. Uh, the thing is I can get three engineers if I don't get a medical team. I think I'd rather do that. I can get three engineers. Is three engineers useful? Yeah. I mean, you can make, uh, you can make both of these and then I need to make these and swap them in for, for breaks and everything. Yeah. Medical teams, I, I think. Yeah. I, I think I'd rather have the engineers than the medical team. So I'm going to wait as yeah. wild as it is. I've waited all this time for the doctors, but. I don't have enough medical supplies to even support more doctors. So, yeah. Uh, it seems the bullet flew right through. Same thing. Understood. CCS is over capacity. I know. I don't know what to do about it. There's not much I can do about it, to be honest. I can put you on the schedule and amputate. I can put you on the schedule and amputate. I can put you on the schedule and amputate. And, and I'm amputating because again, the, the medical cost for that rank soldier, it's, it's simply, it simply has to happen. Lower rank soldiers are going to get amputated more often. It's just the way it's going to go. I don't know what else to do. I got to do what I got to do, man. Sir, medics reach the casualty clearing station. I've been doing too many, been giving too many, uh, patients the full ride. If you will give me more drafts. I want more drafts, just more drafts everywhere. More, 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 more. Sir, new patient arrived. Sir, it just keep coming. I that I left a personal recommendation with one of the patients who was recently... Another VIP. Better not be in a... Okay. Two VIPs. Let's take a look. I want to just direct your attention to the cases of Jonathan and Lucian Clare. They are twins who have served the entire war as a medic team i ask you to consider treating them both as they seemed uh not inseparable and i personally feel that letting one of them die would be a great cruelty i'm sure that once treated they could be assigned to our hospital staff ding 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 <laughs> yes and uh no amputations or anything like that uh yes doctor please do Please do what you do. After that 39 minute rest is fine. Yep. We're going to take care of it. Don't worry. We have the supplies. We have the supplies to do it too. So after your rest, please treat them. Honestly, I don't even think you need the rest, man. Just, just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just treat these two right now. That's fine. This guy's going to die. I need to pull him back out of here. This guy's going to die. It's just, uh, our doctors are super tired and everything, so. Yeah. Maybe. Do I do the surge? I, I can't do the surgeon, right? We just don't have the supplies for him. All right. Now, with that, we can have more engineers now. Okay. So now that we can have more engineers, we should go to the train. Hire personnel. One, two, three. I think that's going to be a good idea. Three more engineers coming in instead of the surgeon. And then hopefully I'll be able to support the rations and be able to support the medical supplies and possibly then build the facilities necessary to make the other two. Yep. 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 Uh, you can be amputated. Please. I beg you. I know I, we can't save the leg. I'm sorry. Can't save it. What's this? Uh, I'd like to remind you that uh, you recently decided that we should cut the mold off of the spoiled food and serve what remained. Uh, I'd like to report that camp residents are feeling sick. Many of them have been diagnosed with food poisoning. 
morale goes down. A whopping 1%. I don't care. That's fine. 1% down is a lot better than the alternative, which was uh, everyone starves. Waiting for orders, says the scout team. Uh, well, let's go. During one of their patrols, the scout team discovered well-masked but often repetitive human traces that suggest someone is traveling that route every day. HQ, suspecting German spies, requests the count scout team to investigate. 30 hours. Oh, my God. Wow. It's a long time. Okay, scout. we'll assign it. Scout unit has started Go forth, I guess. I'm, I thought we had dogs. How do we get dogs? I thought we had them. Increase the number of available dogs by two. We can't take the dogs with us? Significantly decreasing travel time? Hmm, we can't do that? It's interesting, right? I thought we had that. Uh, we'll swap you guys out. Nurses, take a break. Uh, what's, what was Lottie's thing again? God, I hate that. They really need to do this on a mouse over. Rehabilitation center. Don't, don't want to put her there. Okay. Engineers, get working on the pharmacy, please. Uh, yeah, and, and food rations. Like, just... I need I need more work slots in the pharmacy, too. Sir, so we need to work on that as well. But we need to make more medical supplies. Oh, my God. All right. I think this guy... We'll put you on the schedule, but we amputate. He's going to die if, if I waste... If he waits that long, he'll die. Yeah, so I need to amputate there. Extremely exhausted. Well, I mean, you're dealing with that VIP that takes a lot of energy, so I don't doubt it. Oh, boy. Okay, I think we just got more engineers. So let me take a look. Yep, we did. Okay, with these new engineers and our eight drafts, let's talk about improvements that could help us get stable here. I'm thinking we want to make alcohol so that we can make better rations whether or not that i mean i don't know if it's more it's just better rations right not just not necessarily more increases the impact of nutritious rations by 100 percent and increases the amount of rations used by nutritious rations okay so nutritious rations are going to consume regular rations maybe that's not the better approach here we want plus two production stations. I like that. Plus two rations. Um, yep, we'll improve that. So we'll get one person on that. We have four left. Four medical drafts left. And I'm thinking an distillery is needed. Because, well, we have to produce the reagents, though. So let's do that, too. We'll get you two on that. Okay. Let's build for our own stability. Let's build. Everyone build. As much as you can build. Just build like you never did build before. These VIPs, man. I'm not confident we can save them both, but we'll see. Those surgeries are taking so long. Operation was surprisingly easy and allowed the operation team to gain more faith in their skills. Morale will rise. Perfect. Yes, we lost this and we now have a nurse leveling up. Lottie Roth is leveling up. Okay. We are going to say that you are, you're performing worse in the rehabilitation center. So I think we want to have you tire significantly less at CCS. That way we can keep you in CCS more often. So Lottie Roth is going to spend more time at CCS. I think that's for the best. Oh my goodness. Do we have what it takes, guys? To stay stable. To not lose the game. Hmm? Do we have what it takes? Like, see? I need I need more. This guy. This, this, level three. He's, he's rank three, too. I can't. I need more. I need more stuff. You know? I need more drafts. I need more drafts. That's not enough. I need more, even more than that. Sir, operation was successful. All right. Um, our mechanical mill system construction is complete. And that means I've got this extra engineer now that can just rest. And uh, with seven engineers, 
I can have two people in each one of these departments and swap people out as they get tired. So I'm feeling pretty good about the engineering situation at the moment. Uh, medical team that let these guys go too long. So Luke Stewart's going to have a seat and he's going to, they're going to have to uh, rest up a little bit. So I still need more medical teams for sure. I have one draft. New patient arrived. That's it. Just the one. I HQ. Uh, Major Wells HQ is pleased with your current performance. Oh, please give me staff points. Uh, due to your handling of Sergeant Clark Hill's case, soldiers on the front lines were inspired and there was a notable increase in their morale. We get one staff point and we gain four drafts. All right. Lack of chemical medicine supplies. I'm aware. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, okay. So I want with this dr these drafts, we can make the chemicals. That's good. I want to be able to make these two. It's going to cost me four just to improve this, but I think it's worth it. So, uh, well, you're resting. Um, let's pull one of you off of the pharmacy and staff lodging. We'll get that building too. Site. Uh, the other thing I'd like to do with regards to personnel, I think I want to hire another medical team. So let's get another medical team in here too. Okay. I don't feel safe. <laughs> I don't feel good about this. We need to have six military drafts to complete this objective, whatever it is. And we're still looking to try and survive until June 21st at 5 a.m. Six days. We have a big fight coming up, but after that, it looks like nothing. So that's peculiar. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that one. Let's go into the CCS. We have got some serious wounds. Uh... This guy's operating after being rested here. This guy's resting. I think since he's serious, we're going to have you do it there. Uh, this guy's pretty serious too. We'll have you do it here like that. And you're stable. You'll be after the rest. And I think that's it. Yeah. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. For now, that's it. So Aaron Carter, the surgeon. Uh, I'm liking your operations being faster and you're tiring slower. Still like that practiced surgeon. Let's get him leveled up. Seems real good. Sir, patient is cured. And it seems the patient's will is strong and recent events have made it less impact. So good. Shorter rehabilitation time is fantastic news. Let's make sure our nurses are ready for that. Natalie, what was your improvement again? Natalie's got something. What is it? Uh, operating wards. Okay. Who's my operating wards people? It'd be nice if I could change their names. You know, just to like put like an O next to it for operating and a C for, you know, R. I, I just honestly, I just I don't need that. I, I need them to like show these traits as I mouse over them. I don't know why that's not a thing. That's that seems like a really obvious thing to put in the game, but I digress. Put that there. Uh, let's get faster rehabilitations. Yeah, get, get that rehabilitation speed increase and yeah, get them out of here. What do we got here? Uh, seems that the patient's body was able to fight off the infection on its own. Closing the wound should be enough to help the patient recover. Very good. And uh, if we do the procedure by the book, you'll have even shorter recovery time. But we can also save meds if we do it this way. I like that. All right, sir. We've noticed that an allied reconnaissance group nearby. HQ wants us to provide them with basic health checkup. Nothing a nurse couldn't do. If we do so, they'll grant us staff permits. I mean, yes. One nurse will be unavailable for 12 hours and we gain two staff points. Yes, absolutely. Um, we're going to send Adrienne. Sir, operation was successful. She works better alone anyway, right? So Sir, let's let her do that. Artillery fire. We got artillery fire coming in. Here we go. Uh-huh. Yes, we know their blood. The battle happens. Yes, it's good. It's fine. Awesome. All right. So on that note, the battle happened and we were fine. This guy is critical. I mean, we are already operating on him next. I only have two surgeons, so it is what it is. And then we rest up and then we get these guys. So yeah, I did the best I could, man. All right. Train so, drops off some people. Very good. Higher personnel. We don't have the points yet, so we can't do that. But I would like to get another engineer. It'd be great. Um, 
Those two staff points, though, I think I'm going to put it into medical teams. Yeah, because these guys keep getting really overworked. Um, Harvey, he, let's let's put you guys at ADS. Sir, medics are on the way. Lack of medic. I know, I know. There's lack of medicine. We're working on it. See, the engineers are doing what engineers do, which they need to rest. I, I need to give them breaks too. Yeah, uh, give these guys a break. Let's redirect you into pharmacy. Oh, what's this? took out a train is that my train 